Hey everyone, Johnny FRX here. I am back with the final installment of the ESP01 leak detector, and we got it on Smart Things now um, using Dan Orgochucks, aka Ogiwan's ST Anything uh, device, man, uh, device handlers and libraries for Smart Things and for the Arduino IDE. Um, this turned out pretty good. I'm going to show you here in a second. So we have still the ESP01 down here, the little guy. Now here's the trick on this one. The ESP01 only handles digital. And it has digital pins exposed, that is all. Um, the main device handler that has been created, the ST Anything, with all of the device handlers, it was built for an analog leak detector or water sensor. So in order for this to work on a digital pin, I modified the contact device handler, which is basically what this is. Um, the nice thing about this particular leak detector you see in the bowl here, it's got digital output and analog output. We've been using digital the whole time and I wanted to stick to that. So by using the contact device handler, we're basically simulating a circuit open and closed. When the water runs across the two probes, the contact is closed. And you'll see that here in a moment. And I have it set up on smart things and it works great. What I did was I modified the device handler child um, in smart things to use the water sensor icons for on and off and then connected those to a custom alert so you get an alert immediately it's not using polling it's using pin high pin low so the response is very fast and let's test this out now bear with me here we're simulating a flood one last time see on the phone a smart things fired off an alert I also tied an LED to this so you can actually still have a local alarm on this um, and it really turned out to be pretty simple um, instead of the LED I'd say maybe put a piezo on there to uh, keep the horn blowing if you have this someplace hidden you're not gonna be looking for a light you're gonna be listening out but again this little leak sensor here has digital and analog the four pins you can't see them here necessarily. You see them more on the IC in between with the potentiometer. But one last time, let me try one thing too to show you the color changes. If we drill into the sensor here, you can see ESP01 leak contact. Right now it says it's dry. Normally for a contact icon, it's just open and close. We are dry right now. Let's plug her into the water and see what happens here. Now we're wet. DSP-01 leak, contact is closed. Lights blink in. And then we're dry. Pretty cool. It worked out nicely. I will post the smart things with this, with my final code, and the changes I made to the smart things device handler. They were small. Um, you can do it. And I'm pretty sure Ogiwan would support any changes we make to tweak this here and there. Nothing major, his code rocks. This was just so we could use a digital leak sensor compared to analog. If you want to use one of the newer ESPs, like the ESP12s, etc., they have analog inputs. You can use any of them with his code as is, because they will just work out of the box with his existing code out of the box. In order for this to work on the digital pins on the ESP01, only reason I had to tweak this. With that, I'm out. Have a great holiday, and I hope you guys can use this code. Smart things and ESP8266 together. It's kind of a perfect mix right there. Bye now.